Hey, just wanted to make this quick video on why most people starting in the coaching consulting space, if they have some kind of service offer or any kind of educational product, basically if they do service for someone else and trade their time for money, why those people never really become as successful as the people that they model. So if you look at sales trainers, for example, you've got the Andy Elliott's, the Grant Cardone's, the whoever, um, and then a lot of people get into the sales training space and they're not as immediately successful as some of these bigger people, despite oftentimes having a far superior product. So the difference between the people like Grant Cardone um, and some of the biggest sales trainers in the space isn't that they're the best trainers in the space, it's that they're the biggest sales trainers in the space. And so it's very similar to the effect that you have on organic social media and with any kind of brand or popularity. Um, the bigger you get, the easier it is to get bigger. And so I've had tons of clients come to me looking at their offer and comparing it to someone like Grant Cardone or someone like, um, you know, whatever competitor that they have and pointing me to the specific things that they do better than this other person. Uh, very often I have clients that belittle their competition saying, ah, oh, their product sucks, mine is way better. But it doesn't actually matter because <laughs> the other person's product that they're comparing themselves to sells far better. And oftentimes that's, uh, you know, the goal that most people have is to sell more to make more money. If they're simply doing it out of the kindness of their own heart, sure, they could continue on with what they're doing, but then they wouldn't be coming to me for help trying to grow and scale the business. And oftentimes, um, the only distinction between some of these big, big sales people or whatever kind of industry you're in, whether it's paid ads, whether it's fitness, whether it's um, relationships, is the size of the person promoting it. It's almost like in um, most other businesses that are product-based, the person with the biggest bank account wins because you can have multiple different iterations of a product, multiple different um, R&D departments working on improving the actual product. But in the sales, in the consulting, in the um, coaching space, there is no product. So the only thing that you could possibly improve is the value of what you're delivering. And oftentimes, before people actually purchase with you and discover the value of what you're doing, you're having to tease the value and try to sell them on the value before they can actually get in and experience it. If they could experience the value, for example, of someone uh, like a sales trainer, they wouldn't need the sales trainer, right? They need the sales trainer because they don't understand what goes into being um, coached in sales and developing a, a really successful skill set yourself. And the same is true with a lot of ad agencies. For example, you'll have uh, people come around and say, well, I'm way better than the other guy that ran ads for you because I have this or that experience and I would do this or that thing differently. But it really doesn't matter um, until the person, the customer buys from you until they buy from you, they're never gonna experience the difference in quality. So the only thing that really differentiates you from your competitors is price, so who can do it cheaper, um, or reputation and trust, which is what you're trying to build on the sales call in the presentation and the demo whenever you're trying to get clients or whenever you're prospecting. And one of the biggest things that you can do to build that trust is to be authoritative and to have credibility which leads me back to why these really big sales trainers, even though they are way worse than the small sales trainers, perform so much better than the small sales trainers. Why they make multiple millions a month while the small sales trainers are stuck at 50, you know, 100,000 a month and doing so with very uh, narrow profit margins because they can't afford to, to go big and scale and do it properly. Um, so the, the way that we combat this, multiple different tactics, but I'll just give you a strategy for today, um, is just becoming bigger. Just having more total reach on social media, being more famous will allow it to continue making you more famous and, and have it be even easier to continue gaining trust with hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people. So most of our clients and that's that's the way we apply it is we get them a few thousand few hundred thousand followers and suddenly they're making money hand over fist 
because they have so many more people that trust them. They didn't change anything about their sales product. They didn't change anything about their sales process. They didn't change anything about their deliverables or what they offer or their product because oftentimes it is good enough and it is way better than what the big guys are doing. The only distinction between you and them is trust. And if you can build that trust, get a few hundred thousand followers under your belt, um, and be known in the space, you'll probably be selling way more than you are right now, and it'll probably fix almost every other issue in your business as a consequence. So I hope this helps, just some thoughts, and uh, if you want our help with this, there's some free stuff down below, really good training on it, and then if you wanna work with my team one-on-one, -on -one, I'm sure that's down there too. Um, keep killing it.